They beat up Mr. Lasky and they broke Mr. Daniel's finger. I don't care if you came all the way from Los Angeles. You should go home, Mr. Smith. We have here already enough trouble. Why would we want to make him more trouble for ourselves? Bernie, they busted up my place twice, and they've taken my money for months. Now, yesterday, they took my display case and threw it right out of the window. And when I told them I wasn't going to take it anymore, that felt great. Yeah, and then they broke your fingers, huh? And the next time, they may break your neck. Next time, it won't be anything if we go to work, Mr. Schatzman. Hey, little brother, where you going? With you. That creep digger. And I got some polish on his sock. He went nuts. Threw my shoe shine box out into the street. Busted it up good. He didn't even pay me for the shine. You see? You see? Even the young boy. That's how these monsters treat people. You want us to fight them? Huh? We don't even know who they are, who sends them, where they come from. Mr. Smith, when Stan went to LA to find you, your contact quoted a very expensive price. Well, anything is worth it to get rid of these leeches. But we haven't got anything left to pay you with. What'd you say, little man? I busted my bun saving up for that shoebox. Took me a month. This is all I got left. Every cent. But I want to chip in to help. Three dollars and 68 cents. That just about covers our fee. And if you fail, then things will be worse. They won't fail. I've seen what they can do. They won't. Well, it's all agreed. <laughs> all right? Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow's the grand opening. <laughs> starts to look bad, let me know, and I'll be in there. Hey, wait a minute. That's my whole week's. Interest, brother, interest. When you pull Scully and me down here to remind you that you're overdue, then we have to charge you for personalized service. Next time, keep your own calendar. Ow! It's cheaper all around. EA, you're heading towards Hannibal's shop. Sweet and light. Thanks. You know, I think we're getting a better picture on this yesterday before B.A. messed with it. Isn't he just wonderful? Wonderful. Face, Murdoch, they're heading towards Hannibal's shop. Good day. Good day. We're looking for the man who owns this joint. Yeah. I yeah, thought it was me. Uh, may I uh, be of assistance, please? You gotta be kidding! This blind dude fixing TVs! Oh, my nephew helps with that. Uh, he is not here today, but you can leave with me your television and tell me your problem. We don't have any problems. We're insurance salesmen. Insurance? Oh, thank you. I have insurance. Not the kind we have, Pop. What was that? Oh, that's my buddy knocking over some of your goodies. Uh, I hope he isn't hurt. What's going on here? This is what I'm talking about. Lord knows what can happen to somebody like you who ain't got the right kind of insurance. Now, we got great monthly rates. Check it out with your friends on the street. I never heard of such a thing. I come here to work to do business. Look, we got a special introductory rate. One grand down 
And you get the last month free. I... I wasn't here last month. That's it! Houston, we've got a problem. So much for videotape on these guys. What are you doing? We can't leave handle with no contact! There's only 110 bucks here. Less than our usual down payment, but we take installments. We'll be back for the other 800 in two days. Two days? And so you won't forget. Scully's gonna mark your calendar for you. <laughs> Pull out. I'll never know why they call these things portable. They're so doggone heavy. Uh, uh, give me a hand with this. It's... What's the point of protection, man? What happened? A cracked rib. Good Lord. I don't understand. I thought you were supposed to be able to handle yourselves. I think I did very well, considering the circumstances. Oh, you could have handled those bags of gristle. What do you I let him... just hit? hired muscle, Murdoch. I had to let him go so B.A. could follow him back to their home base. I suppose the doctor's out of the question. I'm fine. I love it when a plan comes together. Storekeepers in three other neighborhoods. We moving uptown now. Passing 86th Street. Charlie, you keep saying we're going, but we don't. I want to show you that dress they have before they sell it to somebody else. But it's this, and it's that, and it's just a sack. Give me a second, baby. I've got business here. Oh, now we're really not going anywhere. Made the run down on the east side, no problem. There's a new fish opened up a shop down on Delancey Street. Blind dude. Was the civic minded enough to uh, join a neighborhood community chest? Oh, yes. We're going to get back to him in a couple of days and get another contribution. Charlie, you promised. Oh, give it a rest, would you, baby? Go to the powder room. Find him running your stocking or something, huh? Let me check this out here. Hold it right there, buddy. We don't open till 4. Say, Jack, I'm a cab driver. I come in to pick up a fare. Say, you need a lift? Uh, look, Charlie, if you're gonna be busy, I can go shopping alone. You're not going anywhere, sweetheart. Nobody called for any cab, so beat it. <laughs> 